One may think this place looks like straight out from a fairy tale, right? But it's just a casual day in Germany during the peaking autumn season and all these colors just level up the whole vibe this area offers. In case you are new here, we are Natalia and Michael currently exploring the beautiful foliage across Europe. After spending an incredible week in remote Romanian mountains living in an off-road camper one, we came to South Germany and today we'll take you with us to discover the charming region of Bavaria. What a thing it would be to start a day in Germany without having a proper pastry first, right? So luckily we found this uh, family-owned local bakery and we're gonna head inside. You can sit even outside, but as it is a little bit cold, we decided we're gonna go inside and try something local. Alright, look at this. This is like a super huge cappuccino. Cappuccino grande. Yeah. Wow, thank you. And some blueberry vanilla, homemade. Yeah. What a thank perfect you. thing how to start a day. So, I don't know exactly how it's called, but it's like homemade blueberry vanilla cream. Pie. Mm. It's nice, warm and crispy. Mm. And I will bite to the blueberry. Mm. How does it taste? Very good. And with the combination of this cappuccino, mm. look at this foam. It's crazy. Wow. quite cool over here which I'm not sure if I've seen anywhere before that there are multiple spots around the city like I think there are like 11 spots or points where you can come and call a certain number and then just dial the point you are at let's say this church is included over there and you can listen to the guided tour of that exact point it's quite cool we needed to try this guided tour through the phone uh, as it's quite interesting and good thing is that you're charged as you would call to normal number so it's very convenient. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> this fail? First try wasn't so First successful. try. Never mind, I didn't get the answer, I couldn't call the number, it was always error and I don't know, I put even the prefix there, but that doesn't matter that much, we can read all the important information also here on these signs. Castles, right? There are two castles actually. Maybe we'll go further. Yeah, even the camper van, but I don't know how far. I'll check. Thank you. All right, so 10 euros per day. Looks like it's popular spot. Hopefully there will be some free parking spot. Oh, this one looks good, huh? Yeah, under the tree a little bit tight. <sighs> but this parking in Fusen and near the, the castle is getting expensive because actually we got a ticket uh, when parking in the city center. 
I don't know why, because we paid the parking through the app. I just downloaded it before, registered there, put my license plate, put the right code of the region or the, the parking spots. And yeah, and as we came back from the city center, we found a ticket under our wiper. And uh, it's Saturday, we called to the local police and they said that we have to call on Monday to resolve such a thing. Uh, I think this is quite tight, so the guy next to us wouldn't be able to get into the car, so yeah. It's not I need to find another one. Mm. All right, so welcome to the world's most famous castle. We made it. And the view just from the parking lot is insane. Look at the castle, like the limestone white exterior and with a contrast of the foliage, like wow. Okay, so our goal is probably to explore the area, find some best spots from where you can see the castle and yeah. Our plan was also to go inside and we wanted to book the tickets in advance, probably like two weeks. But surprisingly, it's booked out like for small exceptions until January. So if you're planning to visit this castle, you have to plan in advance. <laughs> We just came by the ticket office here below the castle and Natalia went inside to check out what tickets are still available and uh, if we need tickets also to go around the castle and uh, one famous bridge which has a very nice view over the castle. The line inside is so big and it's not moving at all so I don't know. So we just walk up yeah, right? and see. Probably. Okay. And What's the starting point? This is the starting point. Okay. And we want to hike up all the way. And you want to go this direction? No. no. The castle is there. But I think people are going there. <laughs> Let's check. Marienbrücke. It's like the panoramic walk. So yeah. It really doesn't matter which way we'll take. But I will go this way. Okay. I follow you you can definitely say that this is a huge tourist attraction the the parking spots were completely full and they were quite big so i think thousands of cars were able to fit there and there's a huge amount of restaurants down there and the ticket office which was quite big and crowded as well so right now we decided to take a, a path which leads towards the castle it's in the forest in the foliage season The trail to the Neuschwanstein castle is leading through a beautiful forest and as the foliage is just peeking around here the colors are so beautiful and it's such a nice quiet walk quite uphill but not really challenging one a paved road all the way to the castle but you cannot drive your car here neither the bicycle but there's a basically a shuttle bus which you can take up and also the horse carriage as you can see behind me I was just wondering if the horses can make it all the way up and down many times a day, but I hear something in the back wheels of the carriage, so I think it's electrically boosted, let's say. <laughs> so we made it just under the castle. It's quite windy here and going on this uh, 
road it feels like on a highway for people really so many tourists and it's just like everybody going either up or down plenty of people really a touristic place the castle truly looks like from a fairy tale and if it looks familiar to you it's no wonder because I actually Walt Disney visited this place with his wife and yeah it became a little bit of inspiration for him to build the Disney logo and apparently then the Cinderella Disney castle at the top where the castle is located there is an entrance when you have ticket you can go inside there is a museum and few rooms uh, which are available for the public uh, with the guided tour and for the rest you can walk around there are several viewpoints and you can enjoy the astonishing white limestone which is all around the castle unfortunately it wasn't the best choice because the facade needs to be constantly maintained otherwise it would be collapsed the castle was constructed in 19th century and for that age it was very technologically advanced i read there was a hot running water in the castle there was an elevator and even an electronic bell for the service we're just walking towards the probably most iconic viewpoint which is Marienbrücke and it's supposed to be a bridge which oversees the castle and there's already quite a big line everybody waits for getting a nice picture Here? Not that much, I have to be honest. As it is so freaking windy and there are so many people and they are just bumping to you and it's it's really high. Wow. And this wooden floor? It's moving, it's literally moving. So yeah, the view is really breathtaking but I'm gonna just look and go back honestly. Well, these conditions are quite crazy and the wind is quite extensive. It is picking up really well uh, over the valley on the bridge, so we didn't go on to, until the other end. But I think it was enough and we saw a lot. Well, I wouldn't say that the bridge is not worth going there and having the view because really the castle is so majestic from the bridge when you see like the whole valley and also like the waterfall and then the castle is, is so beautiful and now when it's fall everything is so colorful so I really love that and if the weather is nice you can continue the walk it's like a hike actually it's, it continues so it's not just the bridge but it's really windy today and it's cold and there are so so many people i mean now i believe that it's one of the most popular and most visited castle in the world because if there are so many people in such weather i cannot imagine being here like on beautifully sunny summer day but once you come to this place, don't just get to the Neuschwanstein castle because there are so many other things to do around in this beautiful Bavarian region. another fall adventure here in this region of Bavaria and it's truly really full of wonderful experiences you can do all around yeah this one is a little bit probably more for kids like the whole area or for families but I think also like adults can find the beauty in this because it's like a walkway 
wooden walkway through the trees. We just started to walk, it's like a whole park, so you can walk in the forest, there are multiple things around what to do. And it's so beautiful and the views are starting to open, so I'm super excited to see it goes like over the river and in between the forest, so the nature is really worth it, it's like 5 euros per person, the whole area. It's so amazing that you're at the height of the tree, so you see all orange around as the leaves are so colorful and falling down. There's not so much wind as on the castle, which we were quite afraid, but when we arrive here it's a valley and probably that helps a lot. So we can enjoy all this walk, which is about 700 meters one way. And the bridges, which are suspended one, are quite swinging actually, and you can feel it. Wow, this is such a cool experience. It's quite cool, inside it projects you some interesting information. Quite interesting thing. Another cool thing about this attraction is that it stands on the borders between Austria and Germany and while you are walking on the, one of the suspension bridge you can cross the borders that easily and back Germany, Austria. We just found out that we're here that there is this beautiful trail going like 125 kilometers long alongside the river Lech from its well until its fall all the way to the Vogensee over here near Füssen. That's really cool and I would like to really do this trail one day, go all the way among three regions, two countries. Wow, that must be really amazing experience. From walking on suspension bridges, which we enjoyed so much, we traveled down the river Lech, probably for one kilometer by car, to the nearby waterfalls, where we could park our car just next to the road and just hang out to the bridge, which goes over the river, overseeing the beautiful waterfall, which is like 15 meters high, and it has artificial cascades on it. And it's a very nice stop you can do on your way. And from this place we would like to finish this Bavarian episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it with us. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And see you next Sunday. Bye guys!